there are lots of great features in seven. Uh, I'd like to, like to dive into, into, into three of the big ones this morning. Project Coin, Invoke Dynamic, and the Fork Join Framework. Project Coin is all about small change. In particular, it's about small changes to the Java programming language designed to simplify everyday programming tasks so the programs are easier to write, easier to read, and easier to, ma to maintain over the long term. The, the features of Project Coin are not just for application code. They're also for the code in the JDK itself. Uh, we went through an exercise where we analyzed the JDK code base to find opportunities where we could use, uh, use the Project Coin features, and we went and indeed changed the code base to use them. What about Invoke Dynamic? What's, what's all this I hear about a new bytecode? Invoke Dynamic is something that is going to help us improve Ruby performance by optimizing all of these lots and lots, tons and tons of method calls that we have in Ruby. Uh, Invoke Dynamic, JSR 292, gives us two things. Uh, a new bytecode called Invoke Dynamic, which allows user code to decide at runtime how a dispatch is going to be patched through to some method. And the method handle API, which basically provides function pointers and adapters to wire up an Invoke Dynamic call. OK, Project Coin, Invoke Dynamic, Fork Join Framework. The Fork Join Framework is motivated by the inevitable rise of multi-core processors. The real power of the Fork Join Framework is that it takes care of all the parallelism and synchronization for you. All you have to be able to do is specify how to take a subtask and divide it into two pieces, how to solve a sub, how to run a subtask sequentially, and how to combine the results of, sub, of subtasks as they finish and go, go up the tree. Java 7 is available today. You can download it, you can play with it, and it is ready to deploy in production. So I'd like to talk about two features we're thinking about for 8. One is Project Lambda to bring closures to the, to the Java programming language. The other is Project Jigsaw, which aims to define a module system not just for application code, but also for the platform itself. So why do we want to add Lambda expressions to the Java language? The inevitable rise of multi-core processors. <laughs> there are lots of different ways to program them, and, and, and some of the key techniques can best be done if you've got Lambda expressions. The motivation for Project Jigsaw is to address the problem of programming in the large with Java. Programming in the small is about writing classes and interfaces and putting them together in packages and so forth. Programming in the large is about doing things at a higher level where you have large program components you want to be able to reuse, assemble together in different ways to construct different kinds of applications. You can help. We have a project in OpenJDK for JDK 8, early builds of, of JDK 8. Don't use those in production, please. But please, do feel free to play with them and send us bug reports.